Now it seems long. But we can actually take that and break that down into uh, smaller steps. So what I'm doing here is I'm starting off by outlining an F sharp chord. You can really hear how it kind of like fits over that harmony, right? But instead of hitting just the notes from that, all these extra notes I'm adding, they come from the A Lydian scale. So if you know your three note per string A Lydian scale, that's where that comes from. Okay. From here, I'm just outlining a B major chord. So from the top, B major. Then I'm just gonna ascend up a C minor scale. Da, 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 da. Okay. B, C sharp minor. Then I'm gonna hit the uh, G sharp minor arpeggio. G sharp minor chord. So, so far I have F sharp minor, B major, C sharp, and G sharp. And at the end, I'm just going to slide into my uh, C sharp pentatonic scale. But I'm going to add that ninth note in there. So you can see how a big massive lick like that is broken down to all these like smaller licks, smaller phrases. And most of the time when you hear guitar players play these, or at least for me, when I play these really long lines, really long licks, it's actually a lot of smaller phrases that are put together to create this massive thing. And you want to get to the point where you're able to improvise and do that all on the spot. So you have all these little lines, all these little phrases, techniques, ideas that you use all the time, but you want to be able to put them all together on the spot, on the fly. And that's how you can take your own sound, something that you've been playing over and over and over again, and all of a sudden turn it into something unique when you start connecting different things together.